Yay, finished work. And I'm on my way home. Can't wait. Weighed myself this morning, another half a pound down. Better than nothing. Um, I wasn't really expecting to lose a great deal. Even though I feel quite light at the moment, I don't feel, it sounds weird, but I don't feel as heavy as I was. Well, because I'm not as heavy as I was. I do feel like I thought I might have lost a bit more, but hey, I'll take half a pound. It's such an amazing day in Gloucester today. Not off to the best to start though. Um, it was really grey and miserable, which is kind of standard, I suppose. Gloucester weather at this time of year. Stuff starts changing. But this afternoon, oh my gosh, sun's out. It's like 21 degrees. There's not a single cloud in the sky. So tonight's walk is gonna be lovely. So I've just had confirmation today that our Universal tickets have been posted. So excited, cannot wait. Um, I hope they arrive soon. Well, um, apparently they will. They'll arrive in a couple of days, but we'll see. Um, yay! It means it's happening. It's like two months to go. So excited. I'm surprised I haven't packed a big suitcase yet. I've put aside some stuff, but I haven't packed the bag. I'd like to get a new bag, but Aaron says no. I have a week off next week, so I'm thinking that I might do a mini pack. Some people think I'm nuts. You might think I'm nuts, but um, I like to be organized, and this way I can be organized and make sure that everything that I want to take is ready, and nothing is forgotten, and um, I could just get on with it, really. So I might do that even though it is a bit nuts. Yeah, it is. I'm super excited to see what they've done with the front garden today. I think they were actually gonna put the fence up, or actually, to be honest, I don't know what they were gonna do. It will be a nice surprise, whatever happens. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, I've come home and they've put the first stage of the fence up. Yay! They've also moved my little tree, you can see him there. I am gonna move him again, I'm probably gonna put him over there. Um, and get another box hedge for there because there's a little bit of a gap. The grass, they've leveled off all that area. They've filled in the hole. They've even put the slate down. And Aaron's car is now parked on the car parking space. And there's the old fence over there we need to get rid of. But how fab! You can see my view. Beautiful. Next stage, we've just got to put all the like fence boards on here. But me and Aaron are doing that. And that's it. Done diddly. Oh, and a bit of grass seed to go down there. Just to pat it out. Awesome job, I love it. So as you might have heard me say, I've got flat feet. And there's a couple of things that people have suggested that I do to help me when I'm walking about and running about to stop getting the pain in my lower legs. So I thought I'd give a couple of things a try. First thing I thought I'd try are these stability cushions. Um, they say so they aid body alignment and balance designed for men and women, suits my shoes, material, blah blah blah. Basically, slips on your foot and off your foot. I don't know if you can see, just like that. So you wear them just on your arch here. Apparently, neutralizes the impact of arch pain when walking or jogging. Let's see what happens. Today, me and Erin are going for a walk slash run. I am wearing my fancy insole things. Woo! So I'm gonna give running a go in them and see what happens. I will let you know. Okay, so I tried these and um, they were actually really good. In my right leg, I didn't feel any, any pain whatsoever. It was really good walking and jogging. In my left leg, there was a little bit of pain, but to be honest, it was hardly anything in comparison to what it was. So these things work actually really well. The fact that they can just slip on your foot, like this, and you position them wherever you need them to be, what's comfortable for you, brilliant, really easy, wash them really easy. Um, I hope they last, because they're pretty good. I've also got some insoles to try, um, but we'll, I've got to try those tomorrow, and um, we'll see what happens on the walk with those. I'll let you know. Hey Jones, what's happening? I am attempting to do a very fiddly job. I am putting my drum lights in. Oh, cool, okay. 
So like a long thin strip of LEDs, mm -hmm. and I'll show you those close up in a moment. And uh, they go inside of the, the actual shell of the drum, Okay. around the middle, and uh, once they're all in, I'll uh, plug it all in, or I'm going to do the toms tonight, I'm quite tired, I'll do the, um, uh, the snare drum and the bass drum, I think, 22 on that one, 14, yeah, I'll do the snare drum and the bass drum tomorrow. Um, and set them all up. But I've got a gig to play tomorrow so I've got to be really quick about it. So as you can see inside I've got this strip of LEDs all the way around and they just tape with like a 3M sticky tape to the inside. The cables come out through your vent hole and they get you plenty of cable to come out of it. So Whoa. it means that's quite a lot of cable. I don't want that vibrating too much so I'm going to stick it around one lug and then I'm going to actually attach it to the next lug. So, but yes. Good stuff. Looking forward to it. See these bottom skins here? These are bottom skins. These are pearl bottom skins. I've had this kit now since 1998. And wow. these skins are the original bottom skins. <laughs> oh my god. I don't like to spend money when I don't need to. <laughs> okay, done two drums. And we'll see how they go. Woo! I've got to tell you now, the connectors on drum light stuff from America are really, really poor for what they're actually made for. If you're going to be gigging with these things and you're going to be banging them in, pulling them out, banging them in, pulling them out, you want something quite robust. And unfortunately, the clips and, and things that they put on there have got really, really fine little pins and they go into really, really small holes. So if you get those even just slightly mishmashed, the, pin, the holes actually force the pins apart so the pins split and you can't get them back in the holes. So they're a bit rubbish. So you might want to rethink that one drum light if you're going to be looking at these sort of things. Something a bit bolder as a connector would be so much better. I'm probably going to end up cutting these off and putting uh, different connectors on there. I mean, it's a simple job, but I shouldn't have to do it with the amount of money that I paid for them. Red and green and blue and strobe. Flashy. <laughs> purple and aqua and orange. <laughs> Yellow and slightly more bluey green. And purple and pink and more blue and bright yellow is nice and blue and white. White! white. Are you happy with it? Apart from the connectors being poo? I, I'm happy with the actual concepts. I mean, I think that I could have made these quite easily, really. Um, but not having the time um, and the patience to go and get it and everything, that's why I got them to be made. Um, and I didn't realise that those connectors were going to be so so sort of dodgy. And the power pack and stuff like that, I know it's only a power pack, but they could have made a bit of an effort to have disguised it rather than it just being an off-the-shelf type sort of power pack that you can buy from Maplins or something like that. Um, but overall, they work. They do what they said that they're going to do. They just need a little bit more finessing, that's all, to make them a product. But apart from that, I think they're going to be pretty cool. And I'm going to give them go tomorrow. Quick shout out to Erin. Thank you so much for my nail files. I absolutely love them. I love pin-up stuff and um, these are very cool. I love them. I'll be using them tonight. Well maybe not. Maybe I should keep them. They're so pretty. I don't know. But thank you though. They're lovely. So that's today. Garden's pretty much done. Just got to finish the fence and pop on a little bit of grass seed and we're finished. So well done everybody. Thank you so much for doing it, Mark and everybody. Looks great. Um, went for a good walk with my new flat feet insole things and they turned out pretty good. And we'll see what happens with the other ones tomorrow. And uh, Breeze has got a little operation tomorrow, a little snip. So no more Breeze, well no more Breeze puppies ever for her um so i'm sure she'll be feeling quite sorry for herself fingers crossed everything goes okay so don't forget remember the little things <laughs>